I come through over a thousand, maybe two thousand community creations and picked around 190 characters that I think look incredible. And guess what? All of them have sliders. So now that the new DLC is out, you can go ahead and play with an awesome looking character. Please look at the description or the pinned comment to find a link to this playlist. In this video, very quickly, we're gonna go through each one of them one by one so you can easily preview all of the characters. And lastly, if you like this collection, please give me a like to help me out as that will help with the growth of the channel. So thank you. We're gonna start the list off with Hevs, who has a lot of awesome creations right here. The first one, as you can see, is a female character. And I just really like the hair color, the skin color, it's pale, the eyes are like striking, the makeup is pretty cool too. She looks great in game and she looks good in character creation as well, which is not the case for every character. Let's move on. Next up is a female samurai character. I like the white really a lot. I like the ice guy right there and yeah. Female Samurai is not something that I've seen. This is the first and the only one, so I had to put it in here. This next one is a Sorceress of the Forest. It really looks like the first character I've shown you, but kind of, you know, she went through some mutations right here, but I think she has a real striking look as well. And especially in the game with the lighting, like I think it's a pretty cool character and it matches the vibe of the whole art direction. Next up is Cassandra, probably from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And honestly, if I were to choose a character to play with and that character was female, this might be the one. Like, she's just, you know, straight up beautiful. Next up is Prince Charming from Shrek, to be honest with you. It's a bit of a meme choice, but I think it looks good. And I just want to showcase something to you guys. This right here, Seafarer, is the base template. So kudos to all of these character creators that I'm about to show you in this video because you know uh, Hevs for example turned this into this like <laughs> how do you even do it this is the first of many Yennefers we're going to see and most of them to be honest with you don't look like Yennefer because Elden Ring's character creation isn't that crazy but I think you know it's a pretty I mean look at this I, I can stop at pretty I think she's pretty <laughs> next up is funnily enough Britney Spears and because of the hairstyle the pigtails or whatever you can apply a different kind of makeup maybe change the hair color a little bit and make yourself a Harley Quinn with this one as well in my humble opinion here's Selena Gomez and I think this one looks kind of accurate not gonna lie I mean especially from this angle there you go this is how it looks in the character creation menu next up is Jennifer Connelly and like with this attire especially she looks straight up like a doll and uh, I think Hebs created her in Dragon's Dogma 2 as well I have videos about that too if you want to play that game check out like 300 characters or so you know that I showcase but again another beautiful looking character here's another extra remarkable looking character I've seen a lot of Viking creations but this one might just be the best one yet I mean look at it this straight up again looks like the Assassin's Creed character but outside of that, he just looks super freaking cool. And here is Asterion from Baldur's Gate 3 I am surprised that we don't see any Shadow Hearts or Lazels and whatnot in this game. Maybe it's because, you know, this game was out two years ago, so people haven't really caught up with them yet. But I'm sure after a week or two with the DLC being out, a lot more people will be uh, creating more contemporary characters. That's an easy word for me to say. But yeah, just a fabulous looking Asterion right here. Here is Hagrid, another character that I've seen actually a hell of a whole lot, but Hevs, I think, did the best job with him right here. This looks pretty much perfect. I mean, if you like to play as dwarves in these games, there you go. This is the perfect template for you. And this next one is uh, Kyle Gass from Tenacious D, of course. And the body is kind of crazy. It's another one of, one of those meme picks. But I think, especially in the character creation screen, I mean, this is a great template for an old man. Like, you can turn him into Santa, turn him into a grizzled old man. Uh, or you just, yeah, use the way Hev's intended him to be used, which is just like a... Pretty much like a grenade or something, but yeah. But now we're gonna move on from Hevs to Gold Hand. And let me tell you, this is, again, this is probably in the top 10 of this entire list. Looks like Timothy Chalamet. Looks great. Obviously, it's inspired by, as you can see here, Lies of P. He's done an awesome job. He's done an awesome... Look at this. Like, this looks like a DLC officially made character. Like, how is this not modded? We're gonna be asking this question many more times throughout this list. Next up, Gold Hand created... An awesome looking Johnny Depp, you know, character. Does it look like him 100%? I mean, absolutely not, right? But damn, man. 
Damn, man. With what he has in this creation engine, not the Bethesda one, you get what I mean. I think he's done an awesome job and, and at the very beginning. In game in general, I think it's just a cool looking character. And as you can see, he's a man battling a giant with two swords in hand because this is Eren Yega. Let me see if I can find a closer shot. There you go. Your anime protagonist looking, you know, a character. But yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You gave him the eye patch too. Come on now. That's goaded. Let's get another in-game look. There you have it. Not the last one, I believe. We're gonna see another Aaron Yeager. So this next one is a young female. Really reminds me of Lily from Tekken. Just because of the hairstyle and her being blonde as well. Here's a closer look right here. I think she has a unique looking face too. A lot of the faces tend to look very similar in this game because there aren't too many options i don't think she looks great with this hairstyle like this one really fits her i think we move on to boring chilling and look at the presentation over here so chill and put all the sliders pretty well together as you can see but what i also like is you can go ahead and find the armor pieces here too like he made a guide for them which i think is going the extra mile uh, that's pretty cool here's another screenshot of this character again absolutely beautiful but if you want to destroy everybody on your path because they killed your puppy which is very sad by the way you got this man right here <laughs> doesn't look too much like keanu reeves or john for that matter besides the beard and the hairstyle to be honest with you but he i think it's still a badass looking character Next up is another ashen haired, beautiful looking female character. And when you see some Korean, man, you know it's gonna be good. Like, Koreans go crazy with character creations. And I think this one, this one also looks good. For the Marvel fans out there, we got Scarlet Witch, you know, Wanda, Vision, or whomever. There you go, looking beautiful. The first redhead of the of the list. I think there's more. But of course, in any type of game, I feel like the ashen hair, the white hair is the most used type of hair color. But this character, as you can see, it, it really just any color fits her. There you go. She has a more red crimson hairstyle there. Maybe it's because of the lighting. But absolutely a beautiful creation from Zhao. And of course, of course, you have the sliders too. I love, I love the makeup detail too. So next up is Jack Landario. And this isn't like that insanely crazy fantasy looking character. Pretty grounded, right? But I think she's still a beautiful looking creation. I like the uh, freckles there too. Kind of reminds me of Ellie, if not for the eye color from The Last of Us. And we got, of course, Geralt of Rivia, many of them. As I like to call them though, Geralt of Trivia Questions because I played Witcher 3 so many times that sometimes to keep myself entertained to come up with those names. But yeah, I tried to pick the best looking ones and I mean especially right here from this angle as you can see it looks remarkable and how can we have Geralt but not Siri following him up as you can see I have a couple other series but yeah look especially here man I think this creation it's pretty darn good looking continuing on with the Witcher here's the second Yennefer and I uh, like the face it just looks so good like it doesn't look like the generic characters that you can create on this you know like engine like again i don't know how how people pull it off but i like the the color of the skin the the you know blushes the eye color is good and then the hair it just complements like everything so well next up is game cc and let's continue on with the witcher here's another super great looking siri right here this might actually be my favorite too especially because it uses a different type of hairstyle you know and of course, we got to show some love to Triss Marigold, the romance option that I choose all the time when I play The Witcher. And yeah, does it look like Triss a lot? I mean, you can see the face right here. Not really, but again, another just beautiful looking creation. Here is one more for you. And this might just be the most remarkable looking one, especially the face. Game CC has done a really great job of really imitating it next up is christian cage my favorite aw wrestler and he created a character named bayonetta i'm not sure if it's the bayonetta that we're thinking about you know the nintendo game the crazy hair lady but what i am sure of is that she looked good and this right here by cell might be on my top three i i really like this it's way different than anything we've seen as you can see it looks supernatural cell is calling this character a black witch he also went as far as to show us the exact items this character is wearing again always much appreciated there we get to take a look at her one more time and yeah just amazing in fact you know with the dlc we got a couple more five more new hairstyles and this is how they look on this character that was the first one this right here with the dreadlock is the second one there's the third one right here 
fourth one and then this right here is hairstyle five the you know long hair one gonna assume it's gonna be one of the more popular ones because oh yeah it looks good it looks good <laughs> there you go and then here's a channel name that i really enjoy because this is lily valentine and yeah she said beautiful gorgeous looking elder ring character i agree there you have it but that's not the only one lily valentine has created we got another one right here and this really reminds me of elizabeth the whole vibe of her the face and the look again especially with the clothing she's wearing in the beginning elizabeth from uh, bioshock infinite moving on to another creator named pufu i guess the screenshot speaks for themselves right and this is how she looks in the uh, creation section going back to gold hand there's a one of billions of virgil character creations how it looks in game it looks kind of similar actually the, the you know gold hand did a good job but i think also this just is a generally menacing looking male character and that's why i dug the vibe and i wanted to include this one as well so gold hand called this one riven female lead character or something like that but i just really like the warrior princess vibe i like the face paint you know crossing through the uh, through the eyes and then i like this john snow right here he looks a little sad all the time especially right here right but believe me this is like the best john snow i could have found and i think in game right here like i think it looks pretty good thank you for the bow and here's a classic anime villain apparently this is a uh, genjiro ashina from oh sekiro okay I, I i never played sekiro so i wouldn't have known but here looks cool looks clean but then he goes ahead and gives him this messy hairstyle and this guy with the giga chat chin looks like an absolute menace as well so that's why i thought this character looks super cool continue on with gold hand here's another blonde character with green eyes i think she looks amazing and then this is the way she looks in the character creator screen which doesn't really matter at the end of the day right like if she looks good in the game which she does i think that's that's enough thank you for the bow and gold hand blessed us with another great looking character this one definitely looks more asian i mean has a jet black hair too and yeah this is how she looks in different like especially with this hairstyle there you go she looks uh, straight up korean which if you look at these right here <laughs> shouldn't surprise you <laughs> anyhow she looks great in game she looks great in character creations i think on the different list of characters that i would choose to play as i think she'd be she'd be up there but of course this list i try to keep it as you know diverse and different and unique as possible because i want all of you to be able to find a character that looks good to you and selin right here i don't know where she's from you know what kind of character she is but she looks like a goth and you know of course we gotta have her in this list and this is general radan apparently but i thought he was like zelda's enemy i forget the forget the guy's name but yeah pretty pretty intimidating to say the least so we're finally moving on from gold hand what a goat man but we got lawzord's character creation and this is basically gandalf type looking character but not really gandalf just a old grizzly looking mage and then next up is red chrono and this is rani and i don't even know how he did this like this looks insanely good again it's not it's not mod you can just get in here and use these sliders and go ahead and get this character yourself and yep here we got melina this time this is how she looks in the character creator screen and for those of you who like attack on titan we got mikasa ackerman right here and again related to the same series we got ymir fritz and i gotta say this character looks pretty much nothing like her i'm gonna i'm just being honest okay but i actually really dig the vibe like i think this character looks awesome i might legit actually choose this character to play with i mean look at this it's so cool and if you watch the anime you know how much suffering she went through so playing as her in elden ring i think it's kind of like apropos if i were to use a big word of course we gotta have some final fantasy characters in here as well this is apparently lightning from final fantasy 13 doesn't look like our kind but i mean pink hair and there isn't actually many characters in this list that i could have found in general anyways with pink hair that also look good at the same time and i think this creation looks pretty darn good again shout out to red chrono for that last and this creation as well this is kuraudo right here and being completely honest like if i saw this character here in the creation screen i would have uh, kept him off the list but i think like in the actual game itself the character looks pretty darn good so and if we're talking about final fantasy of course we gotta include a tifa right here and next up of course we got sephiroth and i've seen a couple and this was definitely the best looking one uh, done by red chrono we got <laughs> mr afro samurai himself there he is in all his glory next up is naruto i mean he's such a popular character everybody literally knows his name at least so i gotta include him in here as well 
looks pretty good in the game and this is how it looks in the character creation screen and this right here is sasuke uchiha and he's also the best naruto related creation i have found created by what did you say looks like an absolute badass tell me when i'm telling lies of course we gotta have their teacher their sensei in here as well this is kakashi we're going back to red chrono here and there he is in all his glory as well and this is pain right here created by wk ninja i really wish we could see a in-game look of this uh, character but here it looks very cool i think so i had to put him in here as well and this one tickles me fancy because this is a uh, fate from mirror's edge and one of my favorite games of all time and again it's just an awesome looking creation as well at the same time so if you share the same opinion as me there you go this is this is the next character you can be playing as now let's get a little more crazier with wk ninja's uh, second creation a, a cute vampire as you can see with blood all over her face and this is one of the most different looking and coolest looking ones a geisha right here because she does kind of have that vampire aesthetic as well but let's look at her one more time in game it's nice she's kind of creepy too i guess because of the way she looks yeah so again fits elden ring in my humble opinion going back to red chrono and all these creators that i've shown you so far like i've really filtered out many of their creations but if you like the style of the certain creators I'm showing you, definitely go and check out their channel and see more creations. Maybe you'll like them. But after this video, of course, this right here is uh, Clive. And here it looks a bit more like him because we can see his face more. But with this hair, I think every male character immediately looks 10 times more menacing. And we got Samuel Jackson and looks pretty accurate too. And of course, as always, is mad. There he is in game. And next up is a creator named Red Dead Angel. She's another one of those creators that's super talented, or they are, let me say. And yeah, this, this character is another one of those characters that I look at and say like, how, wait, I go to the description and say like, where's the mods? Okay, tell me where the mods are, but apparently there are no mods. Just use the sliders and you can make your character look like her. And she has so many great looking characters. Like this one is a cute girl, Native American style. And she looks like an official model, again, that like the devs created and not something you could create yourself. It's insane. Here's a pretty blonde based on one of our previous characters. Again, this would be high up on the list of the characters that I would want to play the game with myself. Like, looks insanely good. Has that bit of a goth look too. And I don't think I gotta say much, but I really dig. I really dig this creation. This one I love because uses a different hairstyle that we barely even, you know, saw throughout the entire list. And freckles. Freckles are like a, a bit of a cheat code to me, you know, like uh, it, I think it makes every character look a little bit better in my eyes. I don't know why. Here's a character with a very similar looking face, but with a different hair color or hairstyle to be more accurate. Another character with, you know, different look, same hairstyle again, looking pretty good. Love the beauty mark right there. And again, similar type deal. I feel like these faces look very good on their own. So that like, even if you changed it up when it comes to the hairstyle, for example, they would still look good. And there we go. Now we're changing it up completely. Very different looking face, different eye color, you know, different hairstyle, blonde again, but yeah. Looking both awesome in the game itself and in the creation screen. And again, as you know, I really like these uh, characters that use completely different hairstyles, hairstyles that are not popular for each uh, gender. This is another one of those, and I think she looks awesome. We spoke about Gandalf, we mentioned them in name, and Red Dead Angel did even more. They've gone ahead and created Gandalf in-game, and this is one of the more accurate looking characters right here, I'd say, especially right here. Look, man, that's awesome. And I told you that I've seen a lot of Ragnar Lothbrooks or Vikings. This is by Zero. This time though, he doesn't have his face paint. And I think this one looks a bit more generic, but hey, I think it's an awesome template. If you want to create a Viking looking male character, you can sort of, you know, mess with it yourself a little bit. Even, you don't even have to mess with him either because here, like, it looks great. <laughs> this one I was surprised to see because like in Dragon's Dogma 2, people went so creative and there were so many crazy looking characters. But in this one, those type of characters are, as you see yourself, they're much more rarer. So... Seeing Doom Guy right here looking like an absolute Giga Chad as well, I definitely had to include him on this list. Here's another alternative to Virgil in, ca in case you didn't like the first one I showed. And this one goes the same for Geralt of Rivia. This character has definitely a much more brighter white hair. And while this might look a little off in the character creation screen, again, look, in-game, I think it looks 
actually pretty darn good. So, hey, if you like it, you know what I mean. Go ahead and make your choice. Of course, we had to have Joker in here as well. Arkham style. He looks like an absolute maniac. And again, because of his character, I feel like Joker is also another guy or a, a character that really just would be thrilling or having a lot of fun in the Elden Ring universe. If he managed to stay alive, of course. Uh, shout out to Rudy Games for these creations, by the way. And we're back to Hev's. And this one right here is another very unique looking one. Character with gray hair this time. She called it Deathbed Companion inspired character. So there you have it. In the beginning of the video, we had a female samurai by Hev's Namakobra. Great name, by the way. Uh, created a Jin Sakai inspired or pretty much Jin Sakai himself, really, character. Again, this is a great template for a samurai looking character if you wanted to, you know, go into that direction. Here's a pretty looking female character number two from Makobra. And yeah. And of course, his profile picture is Kratos right now. And he went ahead and showed some love to Kratos. This is the m more modern, you know, Kratos with the newer games and the longer beard looking older. We have some more in store, but there's another Joker right here, designed by Makobra. Looks, you know, both of the ones I've showed you look pretty similar. So pick and choose which one you, you want to use. I definitely don't want to see Joker naked though, what the hell? And this is a Giga Chad Geralt of Rivia, as I would like to call him. I mean, he just has a wider face, like a freaking sharp killer chin. So there you go. This is how he looks in game. And this right here is Uncharted Nathan Drake. <laughs> this is awesome. So I had to put it in here as well. There you go. Like this doesn't look bad in Elden Ring standards. You know what I mean? And we had the, you know, attractive female character number two. So I guess we had to have number one as well because I like the eye color and the hair color and the hair itself. And this right here is how she looks in game. I say that's a winner. Then I had a whole bunch of uh, Thanos creations that I had to consider and this might be the best out of all of them because a lot of them look really goofy. This one does too, of course, because we're in Elden Ring, but like the face, I think it looks pretty as accurate as it can get and it looks serious too. But again, naked Thanos is not, is not something I want to see. <laughs> There's a good looking male character for some reason. This one reminds me of like a Doctor Who's fifth doctor or whatever, the one with the crazy hair. Don't ask me to name him, I would never be able to do so in my life. But if you know, you know. Here's the attractive female character number three by Macabra. And I thought at first this was like Taylor Swift looking at the thumbnail. It's not really. It looks different than Taylor Swift. And it looks, you know, beautiful. Like the makeup, everything. It is indeed, like Macabra says, a pretty looking female character. And there's a guy that looks like Kano from Mortal Kombat. Like this guy looks super shady, you know what I mean? The type that would stab you in the back and laugh about it. But he also looks cool. And Macabra also created Melina, and I think like the face and everything looks really, really good too. So I had to, I had to include this one as well. And here's Kratos from Just for Japes, and looks like Kratos from you know PS2 era and stuff like that. Especially the face and the constant anger, but I really like it. And if you want to go ahead and have the same Y but modernize Kratos, he made that version as well. And this one is from Cat Chartreux. I guess that's how you pronounce the name. I'm assuming it's French. It's a gothic looking vampire inspired character. Of course, we got Amber in there for that. And she created Johnny Depp as well. And this time specifically from the Amber Heard trial. So he's a bit more sad looking. <laughs> as you can see, he's a bit more depressed in this one. But I think she has also done an amazing job with Kylie Jenner. And this next one, these are not my more words, okay? I'm just reading them. Black, Black Flame Mommy. So a character that's very similar to the one I showed you already. This one is created by Waifu with the, you know, black lipstick, very white skin, the tattoo over here, but a different, you know, variation because diversity or whatever is the spice of life, right? And speaking of different looking characters, Waifu, man, yeah. Like they've done an amazing job with all their creations because all of them look super unique and quite beautiful too, as you can see, it's a little intense though. And there you go, this next one is this one, getting super close again, but love the blue eyes, the makeup, and the fact that she uses this, you know, Lily from Tekken hairstyle, but it's all black now. And there you go, these are her sliders. And for those of you who like Resident Evil, we got Bella Dimitriscu from there, and again, she has that, you know, white skin with the tattoo on the forehead deal going on, but I think this might be my favorite, you know, when it comes to this vibe in general, because the eyes look like Everything looks great. I think this is like one of the best creations in this entire list. So yeah, I love it. Now let's go back to Sekiro and go back to just for Japes. 
with the one-armed wolf, I guess the main character, right? The character we play as. But again, a perfect candidate for a samurai. And Guts is like the most popular creative character definitely in Elden Ring because I've seen about 20 million of these guys and I picked some of the best that I could find and it includes this one by uh, Zero. By the way, I cannot wait for that Deadpool and Wolverine movie to come out, but while we're waiting, I guess we could play as uh, Logan right here and Wolverine in Elden Ring. Oh boy, he looks freaking scary. I love it though. Again, we got the character with the vampiric look, pale skin, gothic, that old ordeal. Can never have enough of them. This was by Hifumi D. Let's move on to Fluff. Look at this. I love this. I love this. Wear something hooded and you look pretty much you're the Grim Reaper of Elden Ring. So if the last Thanos didn't impress you, this one might do because again, it has the same vibe. It's not too goofy. In fact, I would put this as one of the best creations on this list again. I think like I would put it to the top for sure. Look at this. And this is how it looks in game. I love how people showcase all the characters with the items and you know, the emotes. This is Robert Downey Jr. Now I'm a bit iffy on this one because in game, I feel like it's gonna look better. From this angle though, his eyes look like he just did like 20 kilos of basically coke. Shout out to Emerson's for that creation and for this creation right here, Odin. And I think this one looks perfect. And here's a second Hagrid creation. What I like about this one is, again, it looks amazing, but at the same time, Hagrid is a bit of an older dwarf from what we know, right? So maybe I'm completely wrong, but I like the fact that he's a little bit more older here. Feels more right with the wrinkles. Speaking of old characters, I don't know what happened to this guy, but he found some elixir to kind of grow a couple of inches. Pause. Of course, if we are going to play as male characters, we got to play as like uh, an absolute giga chad or the funniest looking character ever. Well, if you chose the first option, here's a recreation of uh, Brad Pitt. And <laughs> this right here is Albert Einstein. And it's, I don't know how, yeah, how people do it, man. This one is awesome looking. I feel smarter already. And I think we're about to feel higher than we ever did before because here's Snoop Dogg. He looks a little sad as well. Like he just lost his, uh, you know, kitten. But let's just quickly move on to stop being sad this is crimps has word and kind of looks pretty pretty darn good and then we can go hee hee with michael mother f and jackson just dance around the bosses or we can look badass again this this looks awesome very very angry though he's way too angry jason mama ladies and gentlemen look at that damn all right let's get a bit more feminine up in here man looksy booksy shout out to her there you go this is another very cool gothic looking creation and this one right here is a gloom eyed queen kind of reminds me of a uh, historia from attack on titan i don't know why i mean all the, the face the eyes the hair that's probably the reason so this one is named alucard again created by luxy luxy and looks really elvish an elven looking character plus you know i don't think we've seen a male character that looks like this so it's also very unique in that sense we got Maiden Ara, which has a look that, again, just fits the Elden Ring universe, in my humble opinion. And we got a gothic looking character with pink hair this time. And very, very purple eyes too. And I think in game, especially right here, she looks amazing. Here's a perfect, I guess, candidate for a necromancer type character, a zombie looking character, taking gothic to the next, next, next level. And this character is named Iceborne, and I think you can tell the reason why. And if you like Spy X Family, I think you will like this character. I just realized that this is your forger because I read the name, but even without reading the name, I think this is an awesome looking character, so you gotta... And here's something a little bit more different. A devil really reminds me of those guys in Baldur's Gate 3. I don't remember the name of that race right now, it escapes me. But yeah, like in-game, I think it looks incredible. <laughs> and then we got Jordan, Michael Jordan, as a matter of fact, because why not? And we got another absolute giga chat, a man who's probably uh, playing this game right now, Henry Cavill. And what did you say also created Morpheus from Matrix? There's another attempt at Cloud. Then we got Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. Surprisingly, not that many Lord of the Rings character creations out there, at least that I've found. And I could say the exact same thing for One Piece. This is the only thing I could find and it's Zoro. With the crazy weapons, I do feel like this game lends itself to more anime creations as well. But this is, as you can see, uh, created by Glutan, Rick Grimes from uh, The Walking Dead, and <laughs> it looks incredible. And of course, we can't you know, get out of here without mentioning Zelda or Link for that matter. Link definitely is like a lot more cool looking. And again, I just spoke about anime just a second ago. Here is Gojo Satoru 
from uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. And if you want to be really macho, you got Arms Frank from basically Full Metal Alchemist. And someone recreated it to Alditore de Firenze. And it looks pretty darn good. Let me go ahead and show you an in-game look. There you go. I mean, yeah. Wow. Next up is from Zumo005. This looks kind of like a Michael Jackson more than the Michael Jackson creation. And here's another Guts creation. And you see how different it is from the last one I showed you? And I really like this one. This looks like a Ryu or a Street Fighter character for real. And of course, we gotta show you the Venom Snake creation by Ghidra. And then go back to Assassin's Creed because we need to have Cesare from there, the main villain for a game or two, as you see. We even have Jonathan Joestar right here. And another Gandalf from Just For Japes this time. And next up is Character Creation Channel. This channel really does have so many awesome characters. And the first one I'm going to show you is a character called Firekeeper. I'd like to think that, yeah, she has a pretty bad backstory, especially because of all the bandages on her face and the marks on her around her eyes. Speaking of marks around the eyes, I think this is one of the best looking male characters too. This is Batman, of course, the, the you know, the most recent one with the uh, Twilight guy playing it, but it's a awesome looking male character in general. Shout out to XP Wizard. Again, another big shout out to him because this is Hellboy. And like, if you just could somehow put some horns on that bad boy on the face, it's absolutely perfect. Like this is like a 10 out of 10. Then of course we got to put the Giga Chat in here too, man. Come on. And we're back to Hevs again. We're back to Hevs again. And this time, this is as she says, her personal character. Actually, at the time, at least she recorded this video. And let me tell you, I, I can see why. Here's another male character that looks like a bit of a Viking because of the hairstyle, but this time he's not blonde. You know, different type, different vibe. Here's a male night folk. And here is Tyler Swift herself. And I gotta say, I think this looks pretty darn good. Accurate too, especially right here. Here's the take of Hev's to Triss Marigold. Definitely a lot more different looking than the one I showed you first. And there you go. This next male character from Hev's is... I think it's pretty cool. It looks like a scoundrel, you know. One of those thief characters. I mean, yeah, even has the little dagger there. Little, little by Elden Ring standards. And then I think we have a character that meets the Hollywood uh, beauty standards. Kind of reminds me of Angelina Jolie for some reason. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me how. Doesn't matter anyways. Because next up is Morrigan from Dragon Age. The mommy of all mommies. Come on now. We gotta obviously. Obviously. If there's a Morrigan character creation... I gotta show it. Here's another character that seems really similar to that Lies of P uh, character creation. A bit older this time. Moving on to Mr. Torinaka Koe. This is one of his creations right here. I love the beauty mic on the side of the eye there. Obviously the character in general looks pretty cute. And now we have Billie Eilish right here. This is how she uh, looks in the game itself. This one feels like Aaron Yeager as well just because of the face, the green eye, the hairstyle. The creator himself or herself doesn't really say that this is Aaron Yeager, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna assume it is. And there we go, we're just trying to catch an in-game look right there. Pretty good. Here's another gorgeous looking character from Luxy Vuxy. Bam. Shazam. And if you didn't like that first vampire character I've shown you with the blood all over her face, here's I guess her bigger sister or something. It's an alternative. <laughs> And then we're back to the character creation channel with Makima from Chainsaw Man. And you can see why the main character was so down bad, you know. And this one actually has two different eye colors. I forget the actual name for that uh, status con condition or whatever you call it. But if that's something you're into, but that's a pretty unique detail. And this one right here is pretty much like a Barbie <laughs> character. This is how she looks right here. I believe this is our last Kratos on this list. We're coming to the end. It is a long list, isn't it? And there you go. Again, looking very angry. The sign the face paint is a lot more red than the other ones. And next up is Sylvanas from World of Warcraft. I'm sure you've seen this character here or there somewhere over the years. And yeah, it's, it's again, one of the most unique looking characters just because of the purple skin. And she's not us, so, you know. Skip Speaking of very different skin colors, there you go. This is a Zelda Twilight Princess character. And this right here is the only male vampire probably on this list. It's Dio. And there's no in-game screenshots of him, but this is how he looks with the clothing. There's another Night Folk template. Looking creepy as hell, but somehow beautiful at the same time. Here's Claire from Claymore. And I think she's the only character with this hairstyle that looks good. <laughs> that I could have found, of course, again. I gotta underline that every time. And there you go. So a bit of in-game footage from her. 
and I completely just <laughs> wrecked myself because right after we had Cleopatra, I forgot, I forgot about this one. The Egyptian goddess right here and uses the same hairstyle and looks good as well. I, I just wrecked myself. <laughs> this is May from Guilty Gear, believe it or not. There she is with the brown hair. And this is a female Viking, definitely anime style because I mean, you see the red hair, but I love the blue face paint as well. Just very complimentary. This is you watch. Is that how you read his name? Watch, just watch. I don't know, but he looks pretty cool, man. It looks pretty cool. He's about to like give us a heavy metal concert anytime, any second now. Here's Juliet from Lollipop Chainsaw, the Chainsaw Woman, as we might want to call her. And another great template for Harley Quinn if you wanted to make a Harley Quinn for yourself. I did see a couple of Harley Quinns, like actually, but they didn't look as good in my humble opinion, so they're not on this list. But yeah, this this next Guts character, again, from a character creation channel. Bam, look at it. Especially with the whole getup, yeah, <laughs> looks awesome. I believe this would be Quan Chi, right? That's how you would read the name. From Chainsaw Man, not a character that I am remembering right now, but quite badass nonetheless with the eye patch. And then here's another Devil May Cry character. This is Dante this time. He has a very evil crap eating smile grin to be honest with you. This one's Casca from Berserk. I really like it. The short hairstyle, the yeah, the skin color, the whole look. I think it's pretty good. Also another great looking character right here is Zero Two from Darling in the Franks. Another iconic character. I mean, the anime itself wasn't that crazy, but you still see her everywhere. And that's because she's a good looking character, man. And there you go. Someone actually went ahead and made the official art warrior. Again, I got creation channel. Named that someone. And bam, this is how he looks. For any Fate fans right here, this is Saber. And this is a apparently a unique interpretation of say Trina. I think she looks really badass and I really love the eye color there too. Really striking with the face paint. This one right here is called Asian Girl. Dot, that's it. <laughs> well, it looks pretty good. Next up is Radagon of the Golden Order with the red hair and crazy look. Let's get some in-game footage going. There you go. And this list is about to end. And of course, before it does, we got to showcase a 2B character too. I mean, it's, it's obligatory. I'm surprised that it took us this long to get to 2B actually. And then finally, a creation named simply Sexy Prisoner. Again, from a character creation channel. And yeah, this hair, this all get up. It's pretty cool. This is how her face looks like. And yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. That was all of them right there. I hope you noted down the ones you like. Again, look at the comment section, the top comment, or go to the description to find the link to the playlist. Every single one of the videos I showed you will be there in the same order as well. If you're playing this game for the first time, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're coming back for the DLC, I hope you enjoy it even more and hope it's like riding a bike for you. Because <laughs> if not, you're going to get your ass whooped again. But hey, that's the fun of it, right? Again, if you like Dragon's Dogma 2, I made the same type of videos on that game as well so check them out right here that being said ladies and gentlemen whew, this was a long list so i'm getting out of here